If you like our content, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get updated every time we upload a new video. Let's see what's cooking today. Hi, this is Shamsa, IB educator by day, home chef by night. So again today my co-chef Rabia is committed somewhere else. So I am running the show and welcoming you all to Burpees. Happy to have you here. So today we are making something that complements vegan diet and it's very healthy, very nutritious and especially in hot summer days. So you know what it is? It is zucchini fritters and uh, zucchini we all know has a lot of health benefits. So let's get started. I have taken two this size of zucchini and what I did I grated along with its skin. Why skin? Because skin holds a lot of carotenoids and that is very healthy for a good immune system. So I grated, you can chop also in the chopper if you have access and this much amount is made after grating to this size of zucchini and what we will do we are going to add one full teaspoon of salt in it and we will mix and we will let it sit for a minimum of 20 minutes. Why 20 minutes? Because salt will help extract water from zucchini because otherwise we cannot bind these fritters. So see after 20 minutes uh, we had added salt so see how much water has been extracted. This is what salt does. And now we are going to extract as much water as we can out of this zucchini and what you can do either you can take a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag or a strainer i have taken this produce bag and i'm just putting here and very carefully i will transfer the whole of this zucchini grated zucchini into this now I'm going to tie this and now see the water is easily being squeezed out and I have to press it until I feel that it is now dry. So after we squeeze the water out, so we are left with this much amount of zucchini. Now we are going to add a few ingredients to make a super delicious fritter. So I'm adding one tablespoon of cottage cheese. It's basically curd cheese. It's going to make it creamy. If you don't have cottage cheese, you can put cream cheese also. One full tablespoon of minced garlic. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, half a teaspoon of Italian herbs, half a teaspoon of paprika powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of thyme powder. Now spices are your call, whatever you want to add. I chose these because this, these are going to add a lot of flavor to these uh, fritters half a teaspoon of olive oil and for binding agent you can choose to add egg but I am not adding egg what I'm choosing three tablespoons of psyllium husk psyllium husk has a lot of health benefits if you have not watched my vlog on what I do during the day what I eat to cure pre-diabetic symptoms uh, without medicine just do watch i have shared a lot of health benefits so i'm adding this if you don't want this you can add almond powder also anything egg almond powder or psyllium husk so this is going to help it bind well and 
After mixing this, we are going to make it sit for 10 minutes so that all the flavors get infused together and then we are going to shape it in fritters and we will pan sear. So to let you know, as we added salt uh, to extract water from zucchini, so zucchini already absorb a lot of salt. So, but when I mixed all these spices, I tasted and I felt a need of a bit of a salt. So I added one pinch. And if you eat more salt, you can add as per your taste. I only added one pinch. And now I'm going to make, shape it in round fritters. What you have to do, you have to rub your palm with olive oil. Psyllium husk has already helped it to bind well and I'm going to take one handful of like this and I'm going to shape it round fritters like this now see with two grated zucchini we have this size of seven fritters ready if you want to make it the smaller size it's your wish bigger size it's your wish and if you want to add more zucchini you have to uh, adjust the ingredients accordingly now you can see some green layer on this so i personally love parsley so i added parsley it's your choice you can add chopped cilantro you can even add chopped green chili it depends on your spice level but uh, parsley has a lot of health benefits it maintains blood sugar levels good for heart good for kidney so i always add so this is going to add to the flavor as well so now it's time to pan sear let's go so my pan is already on medium high i'm going to add only one tablespoon of olive oil so that fritters don't stick onto the bottom very gently you have to place these fritters and we don't have to flip the sides immediately let it cook for three minutes because these are very very delicate and tend to break easily just don't overcrowd it keep it like this after three minutes i'm going to flip the side now see, after three minutes when you flip the sides, you will see this brown crust on top. So these fritters are crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. So on both the sides, this crust should be there. Now see, our yummy and nutritious zucchini fritters are ready. And it needs to be served with yogurt garlic dip. Uh, recipe of this dip is also given in my description box. Vegetarian friends would definitely love this. But even if you are non-veg and sometimes you're not in a mood to have meaty burgers, this is a good alternative. It can be used as a burger. It can be used as a spread on your sandwich. And even school going kids, they would love and this is healthy. So let me taste it and let you know how it is. And it is so soft, you can see crispy on the outside and very soft on the inside. And I'm going to dip it in this dip. And mm. so light because I kept my hand very low on spices. As I told you earlier also, spices are your call. You want to add more. It's your wish, whatever you want to add. And I gave you choices for binding agent also, your choice. But it's really, really very light on stomach and uh, a lot of nutrients and a lot of health benefits. So the recipe is given down in my description box. Go get it. Make this summer very healthy. And see you next week with another healthy yumminess. Bye.